Well, well, well. Hello, 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 anyone out there in Tarot Land. How y'all doing? This is your girl, the Zen Libran, and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, Zen Libran Tarot. Y'all good out there? Peace out there to everybody. How y'all living? How y'all living? How y'all live? I hope y'all doing swell. I hope y'all peaceful. I hope y'all just chilling, just lounging, man. You know what I'm saying? Not doing anything too strenuous. Not allowing people to disturb your peace or your calm. Yeah, I hope y'all just enjoying life right now. Peacefully. You know what I'm saying? I want to thank y'all for joining me and I want to welcome you guys to Who Wants to Hook Up. The Divine Feminine has plenty of suitors. There's so many people, men and women, that want to hook up with the Divine Feminine. But the Divine Feminine is a choosy lover. She has to be choosy about who she wants to be intimate with or even who she spends any time with because her energy is so sacred, you know? Yeah, so you got to be careful. You're going to get a lot of frogs coming your way instead of princesses, okay? Because the, the powers that be send all the frogs your way in hopes that you will pick them and uh, self-sabotage, self self-sabotage. You know, so you got to use that discernment and that intuition, those two tools that the divine has given the divine feminine in order to uh, decipher the weed from the tares. Okay. All right. If this is the first time you're joining my channel, I speak from the woman's aspect and I pull from the feminine energy. Okay. My focus is on women empowerment. I focus on elevating a woman back to her goddess status, back to her empress status so she can retake her throne, which is the earth. Okay, the earth was meant to be ruled by the matriarch. Okay, uh, when the earth was at its top, top peak in the golden ages, it was ruled by the feminine. Okay, that was before his story. They call this time the prehistoric times. A lot of times they don't tell you about a lot of mystery, you know, but the information is there if you want it. You just have to seek and you shall find, you know, because his story is a total fabrication. Okay, there was a world before this, this reality, and that's when the women ruled. Okay, all right, <laughs> all right. Well, I'm here to do, um, who wants to hook up with my feminine, my uh, Scorpio? Who wants to hook up with my Scorpio? Who's sniffing around in her energy because they do smell us? Okay, um, I'm using my gifts to let the Divine Feminine, this Scorpio, know that if uh, this is a frog or a prince. I use my gifts to let this person, this Scorpio, know what are the, what are the person's intentions? What are their characteristics? What, how do they behave? You know, uh, what do they want with my Scorpio? We finna see. Okay, let's pull some energy for this particular reading. Let's pull this energy for this particular reading on who wants to hook up with my Scorpio. All right. hmm. Oh, I just heard a... Oh, I can't remember this name or this person that sings this song. Mm. But I'm going way back to the early 80s, y'all, I think. But uh, I don't know if it's... What's his name? Jermaine? Oh, man. Uh, but uh, I hear it's, I'm telling you, baby, you're much too young to play. But if you do, baby, there's something I just got to say. Ah, I'm freaky. Mm. I'm just so freaky. Where y'all at old school? I know y'all probably remember that. You probably don't. Um, but this particular person, um, I'm channeling somebody that, uh, has been approached by a younger person and they told this person that they too young to play with them. But if you want to play, I'm letting you know I'm freaky. And so this person has violated or, uh, <laughs> did so many things to this young person. But this, this, uh, this masculine warned this young lady, I'm freaky. 
And uh, boy, did she see how freaky he was. You know what I'm saying? What's the energy of this? <laughs> what this got to do with the divine feminine? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he's trying to play with you, divine feminine. But you got a freak a leak here. And that's that Scorpio energy. You know, Scorpio uh, rules the genitals. Um, so uh, Scorpios are very freaky. They are. I haven't met one that was not male or female. Okay. Uh, what we got here? It said makes one's cunning in liberal sciences, gives true answers on divine secret things, able to turn others into different forms and convince them that the change is real. Uh, this is somebody that makes you conform to what he wants, what he wants you to be. Psh, what? Please, you know what I'm saying? This is a person that casts a lot of illusions, you know. Um, this is a person that sleeps with a lot of people. Um, <laughs> this person is something else. This person is a freak. Mm -hmm. He's able to turn you into what he wants you to. And, and he's able to convince you that you like it. What? <laughs> Where they do that at? You know what I'm saying? Um, this person um, does this for money. This person does this for money, okay? This is a person that is worships Lucifer. This person worships Lucifer, and he gets money from sleeping around with so many women. He make these women conform to what he want and and make them and and make them think that they like it. And he gets money for it. He draws illusions. He changes your perception. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. This person could be into some doing spell work and stuff, too, to get women to be in connections with him. This person is a devil. He not only worships this entity, but he is a devil. Okay? Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Well... Divine Feminine, this is, this is a damn frog already. I don't even know. We, we shouldn't even go further. That's why my light's red, because this person is very lustful. This person is definitely leads with his root chakra. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all out there messing with them young girls? Y'all better stop it. <laughs> Y'all yeah, better stop it. Like, well, Kelly, 50 years old. Dude, what is you doing with a 19-year-old? Tell me. Tell me where is your mentality at to even deal with a 19-year-old? <laughs> I will go crazy dealing with a 19-year-old because that's just too much immaturity for me. Mm -mm. It don't matter if you're legal. You ain't legal in the mind. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> What's the... um? Give us the intentions of this person that's in my Divine Feminine's energy. Um, what is his behavior like? What are his characteristics? What are his intentions for my Scorpio? Hmm. As if we want to know. <laughs> but we finna find out, girl. We finna find out because this person is definitely in your energy. And I want to reiterate, just because this person is in your energy trying to hook up with you does not mean that you should hook up with them. By no means... By no means, because we don't hook up with everybody that want to hook up with us. We use that intuition and discernment. And we let the divine guide the right person to us, okay? We just don't hook up with anybody, all right? What's up with this person? What's up with this person that was trying to hook up with my Scorpio spirit? <laughs> Noncommittal ass person. This person could have an STD. He could be wounded from sleeping around so much. This person just goes around and around sleeping with people. <laughs> this is something, this is somebody that you probably ended a connection with. Or your friendship with this person came to a conclusion. Yeah, this is a person that goes around leading life with his loins. And because he lives that way, he sit up here and contracted something. This is a non-committal person, okay? Um, yeah, 
<laughs> yeah. And he's on fire up in here. He's burning hot. He's on fire. Yeah, that comes with that territory. When you're sexually promiscuous, that comes with that territory. Okay? What else is up with this person? What else was up with this person that's in my divine feminine's energy trying to hook up with her? Hmm. What is up? What else? <laughs> he likes being in connections with young girls. Somebody likes to be in connection with young girls and get their cup. He tricks them and get in a connection with them and he get their cup and he gets prosperity. He gets paid. Okay? Lucifer pays him. These are in, This person is an energy vampire. So he goes around collecting energy from women. Young women. Young, young un unassuming women. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He uh, goes after their heart. He plays with their emotions. He loves bond him, bond them, make him make make them think that he cares about them, and they just open up themselves to him. That's why he get these young girls because he's not able to play that game on women his age. <laughs> he defiles their bodies. He told them, "You much too young to play, but if you want to play, I'm letting you know I'm freaky." And he just pushed them to the limit, too. And then warps their mind to, to, to make them think that this, this is, I like it. No, you don't. You don't like it. You should never be, you should never put yourself through pain to give somebody pleasure. That's a masochist that you're dealing with. If you're doing anything with your body and it's painful, you're do not doing the right thing. And y'all know what I'm talking about. And that's what this person is on with these young ladies. I used to work, uh, I worked in two emergency rooms and it was so many young ladies that came through there with fecal impaction. Ridiculous. This person is a fool. This person is a damn fool. This is somebody that goes against the grain. I mean, he don't follow nobody's rules. He does what he wants to do. If everybody in the world is turning right, he's turning left. Because he's just that particular type of person. What else is up with this sexual deviant? <clears throat> what else is up with this sexual deviant? He probably does love spells to get inside of these young ladies' hearts. You know. Man, we got a freak out here, y'all. I can't stand men like this. I knew one like this, and I got rid of him so quick. I wish you would try it with me. He never tried none of that stuff with me because I let man. You know what I'm saying? That is, that's I don't I don't tolerate disrespect. You won't disrespect me because I leave before you do that, bruh. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got time. What else is up with this sexual deviant <laughs> that's trying to hook up? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm telling you, baby, you're much too young to play. But if you do, baby, there's one thing I just got to say. I, I'm freaky. Yeah. I'm just so freaky. Yeah, who saying that? Was that Jermaine, y'all? I don't remember. I see him. I could see him in my head hopping around on Soul Train. So you know that was way back in the day. Yeah. Mhm. Mm this is a. This is a. He out here mess with these young girls. You know what I'm saying? Cause they're young and dumb. Dumb girls. Dumb, 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 dumb. Yeah. <laughs> What else is up with this deviant? What else is up with this deviant spirit? He's a bully. He's a bully. He's aggressive when you're in a partnership with him. <clears throat> it's either his way or the highway. 
I wish you would. I wish, you know, I don't have the pleasure of going through things like this with men. Because I will flip the hell out on them and will love doing it. I never came across nobody like this that would even try me like this. I guess because right off the top, they know I ain't going to, hey. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could jump in one of these ladies, young ladies' bodies. And, you know, I could be them for a couple of seconds so I could let these dudes have it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Man, I wish I had a daughter. I'll lay down the game for her. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm trying to get a hold of my um, my guy's daughter. I want her to stay with us so bad. You know what I'm saying? So I could teach her about the, you know what I'm saying? She young, what, 12, 13 now? You know what I'm saying? And she's getting up in age, and I want to teach her this game. Because these dudes are her own one. He's a bully. He think he's supposed to be an authority of everybody. This person is a bully, and he does this for resources. He gets into partnerships with these ladies, fake partnerships for resources. I told you who he worship, and that's where he get his money from when he take these young ladies' energy back to this entity. Us being the elders, ladies, we got to speak up to these young ladies. If y'all mess with these older men like this, they don't have you. They have you. Your mind is not fully developed to deal with these men. You may think, I know, I don't know. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't know nothing. You ain't even lived long enough. They only with you for one particular reason. And that is to defile your body, to send you to the emergency room to get uh, fecal, with fecal impaction. It's pathetic. It's really pathetic. Let's get these cards out here, y'all. Telling you, man. You got to have some pride or dignity about yourself. You know what I'm saying? These men can only do what you allow them to do. And as elders, we need to, 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 to teach and show these young ladies because they think they know everything and they don't. We got to gain the respect back of the elders, damn it, because they don't want to listen to us. You know what I'm saying? And we got the game and gone. So you have to like force this knowledge down their throat and gain their respect. Because man, these men are just ruining these young ladies. And you should think highly, more highly of yourself than that. Anybody that wants to put you through pain to give them pleasure, baby, that's not the route to go and that's not the man that you need to deal with. Because if you had a true, genuine man that cared about you, he would worship your temple more than you do. And he won't harm you in no particular type of way. He's there to love you. Bust that. And ain't no real man going to be wanting to do that anyway. Because we only different in the front, y'all. We're not different. We, we, we ain't different in the back to man and a woman. So if you're doing this to a woman, you sure doing it to a man. If not, you will, if it came down to it. A real man won't, don't even want to do that. My guy ain't even into that. He like, what? Get the, what, what? I know plenty of guys because I'll be around top dogs. You know what I'm saying? And they're not into that at all. For one, they, they cherish their phallus too much to put their phallus into a cesspool because that's a waste trap. Things are supposed to go out, not in. It's a sewage. Only rats like to crawl around in sewage. It makes me sick, these weak-ass men.
They be taking advantage of these young ladies, 19, 20, 21 years old, and they sitting up here 45 to 50 years old and eat their ass whooped. Got daughters these young ladies' age. This just shows you how warped and frustrated they are. Oof. Pitiful. Sad. We got out here, y'all. Mm. Mm. Well, collective, you have gone through an awakening and you freed yourself from this commitment um, with your twin flame, this contract you had with your twin flame. Okay, um, and now this person is trying to integrate with you anyway. But you've transcended this union. You've outgrown this person because he doesn't want to grow. He's still going around sleeping with young ladies. You know what I'm saying? When he's supposed to be in a connection with you. Y'all have a spiritual contract and he's out here fecally impacting young ladies. He's pathetic. So you awakened and you were able to free, you know what I'm saying? You got other opportunities. And you happy you're away from this fool too because he's non-committal. He's supposed to be with you, but he, he, he owns some other stuff. So the divine let you out this contract with your twin flame. You transcended this union. You've outgrown this person. This person hasn't grown any. Pathetic. Pathetic. This person is still in the shadow side, and you're not. You're not in your shadow side, Divine Feminine. So you can't be in a connection with this person. This person refuses to grow. So the divine let you out this contract. Mm -hmm. You could be somebody that's gifted. You have spiritual gifts. Um, I'm seeing Piscean energy. Um, and you're definitely not in your shadow side. And this masculine is. He out here done contracted an STD, and he still is ruining the lives of these young ladies, pretending that he loves them, playing with their heart, so he can have them bent over somewhere. For their energy. Girl. Ooh-wee. Mm -hmm. Tell me about these men. Tell me they're down to week of six. <coughs> Mm. Man. You came through an awakening that this person um, fraternizes or is a part of this wicked social group, wicked society. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. That gives out. Uh, fishy love offers. I mean, he, he don't, this is a person that's not going to give you all of him. He's going to give you a little stanky offer. And that is to just come around in the, in the middle of the night, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, have sex with you and go on about his way. He may sleep, stay over. Most of the time he won't. Because he probably live with somebody or stay with somebody older. But just playing with these little young girls. <sighs> You free from this divine feminine. You, you, you out this contract with this person. And this person refused to grow. This person is a water sign. Cancer Pisces, a Scorpio that you freed yourself from. Mm -hmm. You freed yourself from this person. Yeah, that's because you are the divine feminine. You are the divine feminine. He couldn't do you like that. 
But instead of him healing and growing and concentrating on y'all connection, he's out here ruining the lives and the minds and the hearts of these young ladies that he's way too much older, 30-something years older than probably. He has no business messing with them. He don't have nothing in common with that person. Nothing. She can't even hold a good conversation with him. Pitiful. Pitiful. Hmm. Pitiful. Yeah. This person is not your emperor. He's upside down. He's not your emperor. That's why the divine, he's supposed to be, but he refuses to grow. That's why the divine let you out of this contract that you have with this person in the ethers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you guys were supposed to be married. You guys were supposed to have a ten of pentacles together, but it's not going to happen. Not with this person. <laughs> he out here making these young girls conform to a, a, a sexual deviant lifestyle. You know, he them doing all type of stuff to these young girls. He got a supply of them. He probably got keys to three or four houses that he could just come up in there and just drain their energy and just got him a supply of energy harvested just going out. You know what I'm saying? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Your twin flame is all about the kitty cat, honey. He all about the kitty cat. That's all he about. Yep. That's all he about. What's between somebody's legs? Yeah, this is all this person is about. <laughs> you, on the other hand, Divine Feminine, you could be some type of spiritual advisor or something. Um, this could be your career here. Um, people look up to you. You could be on a platform. People look up to you for advice. Uh, and you walked away from this person in the past and this person did not want you to walk away but ain't nobody got time for this you knew what he was on so why would you waste your time you know what I'm saying pitiful yeah this person wanted to integrate with you still be in a union with you, but you dropped his ass. He was a burden, and you got rid of him because the divine said that you could because this person refused to grow. You're very intuitive, very intuitive and discerning. And you're like, uh, I'm cool on him. <laughs> you transcended. You outgrown this person. Because he's steady messing with 19, 20 year old, and he 45 plus. Boy, bye. Get out of here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You transcended this union. You've outgrown this union. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is a particular person. He wanted, wanted you to be promiscuous. He wanted you to be out here using your body. You know. This person did not want you to free yourself from him. But you transcended this union. You transcended this union, baby. You outgrew him. And things didn't go in his way because you was let out the contract. This is pathetic. This person is pathetic. This person is, uh. <sighs> This person works for Lucifer. And if you're having sex with this person, you will not be free from this person. Okay, young ladies, so hey, if you if this resonate with any young ladies, 19, 20, 19 to 25, hey man, they using you, boo. And they in some type of secret society, and you think that's cute, and no, it's not. Because they're using your energy. And I know you scared of him. He probably over there hitting on you, you know what I'm saying, because he's a bully. 
aggressive, punching and wild, scaring you, putting fear in you. He couldn't do that with nobody his age. Because you over there hitting the wild, I'm going to hit the wild too. You don't scare me, bro. You yelling, I can yell too. With your punk ass. Well, this is what I have for who wants to hook up with my Scorpio. <laughs> but what you think, Scorpio? Prince or a frog? Ain't no thought to it. It's a damn frog. Ribbit, ribbit. This person can go on on with his diseases. You know, with his freaky self. <sighs> Young ladies, you got to use your mind. You got to use your mind, ladies. Don't allow these men to make you conform to doing things to your body that you don't want to do. And you're not getting any pleasure out of it. You can't tell me that one woman that gets pleasure out of, uh, y'all know what I'm talking about. If she says she's getting any pleasure, she's a damn lie. Or she's a weirdo. I love y'all, man, and hey, man, we need to get it together and look out for these young ladies as elders. It's our responsibility as ladies. And you young ladies, y'all need to listen to your damn elders and respect your elders because we're trying to help your dumb ass. All right? All right, I love y'all, and I will see y'all on the next Who Wants to Hook Up. Y'all be easy out here, okay? Bye-bye.